What is up, you guys? It is your boy Jad here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another farming simulator 19 video here. Of course, guys, Fenton Force 4X by Stevie. And first things first, I'm jumping into the shop here, guys, real fast. Um, today, something's happened that I was not anticipating, but we're going to go ahead and make it happen uh, just because we can. And that thing that has happened is that our um what's your doodles you know the what you doodles i guess that works right yeah why not why not okay we need to tires i don't care about capacity i do care about we'll put the wide tires on why not we're gonna go ahead and buy this trailer guys eighty three thousand three hundred dollars and i'll tell you why in a second we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and reset it because we can so I was kind of fast time in here, and as you guys know, we have 405 tons of potatoes left after that mission, and potatoes, I thought I was going to have to wait until next year, but they're ready to go. So we might as well. I was not planning on doing like the selling of potatoes in this, uh, in this video, but hey, why not? We will be getting a harvest going. I don't have a truck for harvest right now, but that's okay. We don't really need that. We've got a tractor and tipper and auger wagon and the whole nine. So we'll use that stuff for harvest and we'll use uh, the truck for selling because that's going to be a lot of money. Okay, that is going to be a fair amount of money. At least I hope. That would be the hope. We do have some other crop and storage that we can sell. Uh, soybeans, uh, some corn, but we'll, we'll get to that. Kind of when we get to it, you know, not too worried about it. Okay, I'm gonna go up, over, down, and then back. Okay, I'm planning on doing. So we'll let this fill up here just a little bit. Like I said, we had like 300 tons, 400 tons. So it's uh yeah gonna be gonna be a, a few loads, but that's okay because this, this truck's gonna hold over 100 tons. So actually won't be that bad at all. It's about four loads. Not, not not four full loads. That's not bad at all. So we'll go ahead and take one now and then let him do the other ones. We'll get fired up on a harvest here in a minute. Like I said, I was not anticipating selling the potatoes today, but might as well. Might as well take a screenshot just in case, you know. 121.26 on the tons. So, yeah, it won't even be... Won't even be four loads, which is not bad. It's okay. Still gonna be a lot. And this truck actually, man, it, it, it handles this trailer. Okay. Of course, modded up by Stevie. It's a new game trailer, just modded up. Of course. Of course. So, how y'all doing? I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Uh, comments from last video. Rox, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, Winter Project put gauge wheels on the, tra on the uh, plow. That's a great idea. I don't think it's going to happen. We just don't plow anymore. And uh, especially with my new tillage implement that we just got. The biggest reason we don't plow anymore is uh, the dirt's actually too loose. Especially if we're trying to plant like rye or, or um, oh God, what's it called? Wheat. That same winter. It's too loose and you can't, uh, oh, I need to turn there. You can't really do anything with anything with the ground after that so now that we're in a rotation of like moving where we plant the pumpkins from like three different spots it might be a little better but the plow is something we uh we probably won't break out of, out of the shed for a while so yeah i would like to though i enjoy plowing i think it's fun i think it's a good time but that's okay uh the new farming implement that i got is gonna help us with uh taking care of the garden next year. I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to say how, why. It's just going to help, okay? <laughs> anyway, you guys probably guess what it is, or at least kind of what it is. Video coming soon. Hopefully I'll get one edited. Uh, uh, let's see. We're using the thing Wednesday. I don't know if I'll get it edited by Sunday, but uh, video coming eventually for the new farming implement. We dump outside. That's pretty nice. 
could actually haul here with an auger wagon. Hot dang. We can. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll take the, the marker off because, you know, I don't need that anymore. And hey, it's going to be pretty decent money, guys. It's going to be pretty decent. I'm just saying. Would that be the thumbnail? Like in the weeds and up into the... <laughs> 46,000. So, I mean, it's not going to be a ton of money, I guess. I'll have three full loads. And then some. Not terrible. Sorry, there's noises. Can't tell if somebody's in my house. Something's going on outside. So, I'm just going to sit here and play farm stuff. Because that's what I do. Um, <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm being sloppy with my course because we only have one, you know, thing running here. By the way, I, I talked about auto drive a while back and, uh, I don't, I guess you got to make like a whole like map course for auto drive. Like, how's that work? Does anybody know auto drive? Uh, I know one person had mentioned they would like map it for me. I'm about to contact that person again unless they're watching this video which in that case i feel free <laughs> i don't know like send me a file i don't know how that works i don't know if, how you make a separate save of auto drive or something I, I don't know how any of that works but auto drive for something like this where i wouldn't have to set up the course necessarily because it would already be set up i could just go sell go homestead go there haul this go go fight hey win That'd be nice, especially for only running, you know, three more trips here. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Not going to lie. I'd still probably use, I don't know, auto drive does field work. I don't think it does. It's more so like logistic moving stuff. I don't know. Anyway, what I do know, what I do know is I said I might stream this map on Monday and I did not. I uh, injured my back at the farm Sunday. By the way, I got to get back to comments. But I injured my farm, or injured my farm. <laughs> uh, I hurt the farm. I hurt it so bad. <laughs> All right, go. I hurt my back at the farm Sunday. Cleaned the disc out. It's the whole thing. I'm not getting into it. But anyway, I basically laid around pain on Monday and well, half a Tuesday. Well, it's Tuesday night now. And I'm uh, anyway. Not gonna whine. Um. Rogers, you can see the bales, one to two hundreds, yes, on our new and improved grass fields that definitely we're going to get a ton of bales. We are going to get a ton of bales off our grass field once we get that all. Oh, hello. Totally thought I had my finger on reverse. Going to back right out of the shed just like this. See how nice and neat that would have been? Wow. Good job, John. Uh, when we get our fields all changed around like I want, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really good. I can't wait, to be honest. Um, Rob, you always thought my, uh, dreams were quiet too. I just, I'm still kind of baffled that like all of a sudden out of the blue Saturday, it was ever like, everybody's like, Hey, you're quiet. You're garbage. You're terrible at YouTube and Twitch. And I'm like, thanks. I know nobody said that, but like, that's kind of how I felt. It was just like, Whoa. Okay. Why has nobody said anything for years? Even my own brother was like, yeah, dude, your stuff's like terribly quiet. Almost like. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you telling me because he never did. Well, that's going to harvest the whole field now. Oh, we can't have that <laughs> because I've already plowed it all together. Oh, this is okay. Well, I guess this means your boy got to do some harvesting. Okay, so we need. Why am I having past every tractor? We need some tractors. We need some milk. Oh, right. Something like that, right? He needs some milk. Um, what other comments were there? Oh, Rock's about doing the 24. No. 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 And yes, it was my router that caused the issue. Very, very discouraging there, not gonna lie. And somebody was having a 404 error. I well, don't know what to tell you about that. I'm sorry. I guess that kind of stuff happens, right? All right I actually kind of want to grab this too. 
I know I can't run course play to run next to me because I won't be on course play. But I can still grab the wagon and just have it sitting there for more capacity, you know? That's kind of my theory here. All right, but we'll even put the pipe out and just have it sitting over the wagon for capacity reasons, you know? Uh, but I appreciate all the comments from the last video. You guys are uh, awesome. Oh, you would like to see SnowRunner. There was a comment about that. Well, if you would like to see SnowRunner, click the link in the description to Puma Plow 2, the second YouTube channel. That's where I post all my streams. They get posted to the second channel. So if you guys are interested in SnowRunner, it's on the second channel. There actually is some old streams on this channel from when we first started streaming SnowRunner, but I've moved where I upload all the, the past broadcasts over to the other uh, over to the other uh, channel. So YouTube 2, which is it's Puma Plot 2, basically. It's just the second channel. And um, that's where I post the SnowRunner. Or come out and see it live, because we will be playing it some more. Not going to lie, today, you know, it's Tuesday night for me. I played it today with Dom. Super frustrating day of SnowRunner. Just things were going wrong. A lot of desync in the game. Uh, just poor internet connections between like everybody in the game, and it was just it was just awful. So I actually had an internet hiccup, and I'm kind of like low key, kind of happy it happened because I was getting very, very, very frustrated <laughs> with the game. And uh, actually, I need to edit that still tonight. I probably may not do it. I don't know. I'll get it. It'll be, a, it'll be, I'll put it on the second channel. It'll be a couple of days, but it'll, it will be there eventually. But it was just like the most frustrating farm or not farm sim, the most frustrating snow runner. Like that snow runner today kind of reminded me why I quit playing snow runner. Does that make sense? Like it just, it really did. So I think from now on, if I'm going to play that game and I hate to be this way, but like, it's gotta be my map. My save, I should say, because, you know, my internet's okay. It's not great, obviously, here lately, but, like, if we start getting a ton of desync, I don't mind just, like, stopping. Let's shut the game down. Let's restart it. You know, nothing against who I was playing with today, that's for sure. They were good people, but it's just, like, when there's that much desync going on, you just got to go, hey, we're going to shut it down and start over. Yeah, it sucks. You lose time, you lose progression, you lose cargo, you lose trailers, you lose trucks. But you just kind of can't play like that, you know? Oh, it was frustrating, but I didn't. I digress. I will upload it, though, to the second channel for sure. It'll be there in a couple days. Actually, today for you guys will be Saturday stream. So when you guys get done with this video, you can head to the second channel, and there should be uh, part one of the Saturday stream will already be there. And then part two and three will come out uh, later this afternoon is what I'm thinking. So, which means when I'm like make the thumbnail and, and title and stuff for this video, I got to go to the other channel and do the same thing because I'm not staying up tonight doing it. I'll do it in the morning. So yeah. And then, uh, oh, K K S farms or K and S farms. Yeah, whatever you're, you with the name, you know who you are. Hi, sub bro. Um, he's the one that told me to get that plow. Yeah, that plow is pretty sweet, man. I really like it. I like how like, 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 like. If we look at the John Deere plow, um, the John Deere plow is really bad actually because when it's winged out, you know, so this part would connect there, and then this part connects here, so it makes and and this it's real. This is a real a disc in real life, not a plow. But anyway, um, it's it's just the design flaw, not kind of, but not really, because that's just the way they're they're made. But you end up with like a V here and a V on the back of like what's what's plowed and what's not, which, like I said, it's not a big deal. But for making nice square corners, that other plow that I have is awesome. And actually, to be honest, I wouldn't mind like. This plow probably for doing borders, just for doing borders. The case plow here, seven meters or sorry, 8.5, seven miles an hour, but it's three point hitch. So it's right on your tractor. No, like having to line stuff up. Same thing with the cloth plow. The cloth plow is like just stupid. Good. 
I mean, it pulls, you can pull it with anything, so. Unrealistic, yes. Super awesome, yes. I changed my mind about putting my unload auger out, yes. I'll harvest an end row or two here and then I will unload and head back down the field. I should just hire this, but I kind of, I don't know. I don't run a combine very much, so be kind of cool. And you notice we do not have GPS in this combine. I have not put it on here yet. I'm just saying, have not done it. I did, uh, I did complete a lot of missions while I was laying around Monday and I said I was going to stream it, but I didn't, uh, while I was laying around Monday with my sore back, I, I did complete a fair amount of missions. Let's see. What did we do? Let's look at the map here. We cultivated 19, 21, 22, no, 23. We sprayed 22. I think we sprayed 36. And we cultivated 42. No, sprayed 42, cultivated 41. We I did a lot. I did a fair amount. Which actually, I did buy a secondary of the John Deere 5 section. Because when I start some of these big fields, I'll actually put it on like multi tool or I'll just jump one like way into the field. By the way, I finished the plow and look at all that. Oh, so good. Uh, I'll, I'll either do the multi tool or I will set them up and just like let one start and I'll take the other one to this like the random middle of the field and turn them loose. Uh, that's what I did for 23, 23. I was, you know what? It was 22. I fertilized 23 and I cultivated 22. I've also had to fast time two days since then to get crops to grow. So that's why the fields are like totally different for what I'm saying I did to them. But I think actually, if we look, I don't have that mission anymore. Do I? Okay. That, that planting potato mission finally went away, which is fine by me. Cause no, thank you. You would lose money on that mission. I mean, yeah, it was worth 600 and something thousand dollars, but I still think you're going to lose money on that mission. So I was happy not to do that one. <laughs> I'm just saying definitely happy not to do that one. I was like, why will this not take my soybeans? Holy cow, man, like normal unloading speed on a combine here. Holy cow. Need to get some modded combines in here. <laughs> Better battery, you know? Oh, goodness. That's okay, though. Where's that truck at? Did he make it back okay? Like, what's he doing? He is MIA. Where is he? Oh, he's he's selling. Oh, he just sold. Okay. Like, what is he doing? I should have looked at my money, huh? All right. Pretty good. Get us a few more dollars coming in. We can sell soybeans whenever they're up. Is I'm probably going to plant something uh, kind of different. Actually, this next planting, because it's going to be winter, this now I'm going to plant. I'm going to go ahead and plant oilseed radish. Like where I'm not planting grass, you know, so like this field's going to be oilseed. To the right will be oilseed. I normally don't do this and normally wouldn't do this, but I think it's kind of fun to do something different once in a while. So we'll plant oilseed radish. So actually we'll fertilize. Let's see, how are we going to do this? Cause we need to, we need to lime a bunch. Actually all that needs to be lime too. So what we'll do is we'll fertilize and then we'll lime. Fertilize then lime. Okay. And then oil seed radish. So that'll go in with, with fertilizer, right? I think that's how that works. And then they count as a fertilizer state too. So that should give us our third state when we go to plant next spring. So think if not not a big deal to run over it again with a with a sprayer you know not a big deal at all so not too bad not too bad oh random thought for you guys um on cbs on tuesday nights the show fbi and the show fbi most wanted are on do you guys watch it have you guys ever watched those shows if so let me know what you guys think of them my dad and i absolutely love watching them like that's, that's two hours of TV. We definitely sit down and like watch together every week. And there's some other stuff too, but like that, those, that's the, oh, that's, that's about it right now. Actually, we were watching that show tough as nails. I talked about that a lot when it was on and I would fully watch a season two of that show. 
Uh, we tried watching a little Survivor, or like Amazing Race, just couldn't really get into it. So we, we didn't watch that. One of these days we're going to binge or start watching The Mandalorian. That's for sure. Season two. Actually, I want to watch all of season one again. It's just finding time to do that, you know. And then, of course, it is like Christmas. So I keep telling him that we're going to sit down and watch uh, Christmas Vacation sometime because I haven't seen the movie in a couple of years. And I know he hasn't seen the movie in probably 15 years. So it's like, yeah, you got to sit down and watch, you know, that movie once in a while. It's just, it's too good not to. So I, I just keep telling them we're going to do that. I got to find out where I can get it, like dream it or buy it digitally or something. I got to figure that out. I guess I could get a DVD of it or something, right? Is that DVD still a thing? <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> Are those even still a thing? I guess, right? I don't know. But yeah, have you guys watched FBI and FBI Most Wanted? Good shows. They do deal with crime and it's like serious stuff, but they're good shows. They are good shows. So, yes. We, we definitely watched them tonight. We definitely watched them tonight. What else did we do? I guess that's about all we watched. Watched a lot of YouTube earlier, too. Because, like, on Tuesday nights, I'll make dinner. Sometimes it's a little late. Cough, cough, like tonight. And, uh... I actually opened a stream earlier today, but it just didn't work out. My, uh... Remember I was saying I hurt my back. Well, I, I made the executive decision that I needed a new mattress. In a bad way. Didn't realize how bad my mattress was until I go to haul it out of my room and it's like, it, it was terrible. So it's like, okay, time, time for a new one. We actually went to Sam's Club because I was just going to basically get the same mattress that I had. Which was just like, I don't want to say a cheapo depot, but basically a cheapo depot like Serta or something. Nothing against Serta's, obviously, but just kind of an average run-of-the-mill mattress uh, from Sam's Club. So that's what I had, but it lasted a fair amount of time. I don't know exactly how long, but it, it lasted a fair, fair amount of time. I had the thing for a while, and uh, it was pretty decent. So it used to be really, really comfortable, and then just, you know, I'm fat, so it's kind of hard on the mattresses, let's be real. Um, so, yeah. So we ended up going to Sam's Club, and uh, first off, Tuesday night at like 8 o'clock, 8.30, there's like nobody there. It was great. Normally, if I go to Sam's Club, I go on like a Sunday morning. No, I'm going on Tuesday nights at like 8.30 now. I think they are whatever time it was. They, they closed like half an hour after we left, but whatever. I get in, get out, use the app. I don't have to talk to anybody. Uh, anyway, I was going to, they had the mattress that I wanted. It's just like the, the regular, regular old mattress, you know? And then this other guy was like, talking to somebody on the phone and he's like yeah i assume it was his wife he's because he's like yeah honey they do have that mattress and i was like okay and he's like getting all excited it was like a foam mattress like a foam and gel and whatever all these new fangled fancy mattresses are you know and uh he picked one up or actually dad and i were looking at him when he uh was on the phone and like he was super pumped about it so we're just like kind of looking at each other like okay dude calm down it's a mattress you know and, uh, so we ended up making the decision to get one of those. It comes in like a box and it's one of those that you have to like, it inflates over some time, you know? And so we kind of walk away and I was like, yeah, let's, let's maybe like look this up online and see if we can find like, just give me like a one to five star rating kind of thing. If I can find that online and there's some five star ratings, like I'll just, okay, well let's do it, you know? So I barely even pull up my phone and this guy puts one in his cart. And I was like, okay, hang on. I just put my phone down and I said, sir, excuse me. <laughs> just random guy, you know, never met him before. Never see him again, probably. I don't even know what he looked like. He had a mask on, obviously. And I was like, sir, excuse me. And he goes, yeah. And I said, do you know anything about those mattresses? And he goes, yeah. My wife and I have one. We absolutely love the thing. It's the best thing ever. I'm buying this one for my son. I was like, okay. And he goes, yeah, they're super comfortable. They're great. And I was like, are okay 
thank you sir have a good day <laughs> so based on some random shoppers uh review at our local sam's club uh, i bought one of them like foam mattresses and it comes all squished in the box and you open it and it sucks in a bunch of air <laughs> i hope i like it i don't know i i have slept on a foam mattress before at uh when my brother lived in northern missouri uh they had a one of the in their like spare bedroom or whatever they had one of those mattresses and i actually really liked it i i slept great when i was up there Mostly because, like, during the day we were out working, you know, cutting firewood and trees down, like, all this stuff we were doing. And, uh, at night you just come in and just they shower and crash kind of thing. Okay, cool. Silo's empty, so he is probably over there. And I probably just need him to, to tell him to go. Okay, so I'm going to hire the combine real fast. Oh, okay, it's, like, empty, empty. Oh. You are empty, empty. Okay, cool. So you even hauled the partial. Man, that was awesome. Good job, bro. Good job, bro. Now we do have this trailer. I'm not going to use this trailer for harvest because I, I do like I do like the Wilsons. You know, this trailer holds more. But I do like the Wilsons. By the way, when does cotton go? Man, that cotton. I feel like the uh, the cotton needs the... Oh, we can haul cotton today. I mean, it's close. Pretty close. We should probably wait, though. Be worth a few more dollars if we sit on it. So. Not gonna worry about it right now. All right, our trailer storage is getting a little full over here. Uh, but like I was saying, I did purchase the second uh, five section. Actually, I wouldn't mind getting a third five section for uh, cultivating missions because cultivating missions are making us a ton of money right now on the farm. That was a terrible backup job, by the way. Kind of to sneak around the corner, you know. There we go. Much better. That'll work. That'll work. That'll do clock. Wow. Christmas vacation, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this trailer to me looks way better. And uh, we'll go ahead and stage it up here. Not going to get to this field tonight, but I'll go ahead and stage it up here and um, it'll be good to go. So same thing actually is going to happen here. I will not be able to... I will not be able to run course play to harvest one. I'll have to manually do it. So we'll actually do the same thing here. We'll fertilize lime, fertilize plant, or not fertilize the second time. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. We're not getting to that tonight. So today, tonight, whatever it is, you guys know whatever it is where you're at. Probably day, night for me right now. That guy's not going to make it all the way easy. He's at 55%. He was at over 50 when he turned around. So I hate to do this, but hey, just got to get him down like below 50%. We'll be good. Or what am I talking about? 50%. No, he'll be fine. He wouldn't make it back to this end is what it is. Goodness me. All right, let's go ahead and stage up our uh, auger wagon duties here. Let the combine do his, his combine thing. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm probably, let's see, tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm hoping to stream Wednesday. Um, possibly, possibly going to stream tonight uh, for you guys. I'm actually, the Precision Farming DLC came out. And I don't have it yet. But I'm, I think if I'm going to use it, I'm going to put it on the server. Because these fields are too big to even worry about doing that kind of stuff. So I think I'm going to throw it on the server. And uh, if I stream... Let's see. If I stream Wednesday night, it'll be the server. Or if I stream Thursday night, it'll be the server. Thursday during the day is going to be uh, Fortnite Thursday with the boys. And then um, Friday, I'm, we're, we're, we're going trucking, boys. As long as my back feels better. If my back doesn't feel better, I don't think it's a good idea for me to sit here and try to crank on the wheel, which I know is a lame excuse, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's better, you know? Hoping this new mattress does wonders. Because actually, you guys don't know this on YouTube, but uh, those of you that watch my stream, um, no runner. I spent the night last night in a recliner. Because I laid in bed for over an hour and I couldn't get comfortable. Like, I was... 
scream like not screaming but like it hurt so bad like somebody was hot knife or not hot but it's just like knife or screwdriver right in the back you know anyway not complaining it's just part of life you know when you hurt your back you hurt your back and i've hurt my back so need to take it easy for a couple of days and kind of let this let the sucker heal up i'm assuming it's like a pulled muscle putting heat on it really helps it it feels so much better with a heating pad oh I sat in the recliner tonight with a heating pad on oh, for a while. See, the one recliner we have in our living room has the heat and the massage. But to me, that one's not as comfortable. But that's actually the one that I slept in last night. And then the other one's like a really old recliner. Um, but to me, it's more comfortable, but it doesn't have the fancy stuff. So I like went and found our heating pad in our house that we had for some reason, whatever. You know, everybody has a heating pad in their house, right? And... Uh, Stuck that sucker behind me in the chair, and after like 15 minutes, I was like, oh, yeah, this is the life, boys. <laughs> Took a few minutes to kind of kick in, but oh, man. It sure was nice after that, let me tell you. It sure was nice. So, since we have not plowed anything around 25, we can use course play to harvest there. We just won't be able to use course play on these fields because uh, it wants to do the whole thing, which actually, I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would just take forever. For no reason, especially down here. So, not a big deal to not use course play this time. It's kind of different for me, not going to lie. But not a big deal not to use it. So, with that, guys, I think we are going to wrap up this video. I will uh, probably progress this map a little tiny bit. Like, I'll keep playing tonight and get this field harvested before I call it a night. But otherwise, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me. Remember to check out my Twitch. If you guys are interested in SnowRunner, it's also on the second YouTube channel or Twitch. Both places. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, a toodles.